This video is going to show you how to use your clock to record time in the lab that we're going to do today. So first you're going to open up your app and then you're going to open up clock. And then in clock, you are going to switch it over to your stopwatch. And then you'll notice a couple buttons here then when we get to your stopwatch. You're going to have a start button and you're going to have a lap button. Let's just first figure out how we use that start button. So you press start, it'll start doing time. And then you're going to hit stop and it'll give you a total time. But notice something interesting here. We have a lap one and we have something called a split time. You're going to want to use this in your lab today to make your data collection go a lot faster. So let's see how that works. We're going to reset. We're going to hit start again. And this time we're going to hit lap. 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 What this is, is every time your car in your lab today crosses your set position time, you're going to hit lap and it'll tell you what your total time is. So you'll have a total time of your first spot was 156 and this is in seconds and then 2.78 seconds and then it was at 4.13 seconds, 5.19 seconds and 6.08 seconds. So you're going to write down these numbers for each of your positions. What split times means is how much time elapsed between the two laps. So this would be like it was 1.56 seconds between lap one and the start. This was 1.21 seconds between lap one and lap two. I hope this helps you learn how to use the power of your stopwatch on your iPad today. Thank you. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use some features in your clock app that is going to help you keep measure time today in the lab that you're going to do. So first thing I want you to do is click on clock and when you open up clock you're going to notice that there's a stopwatch feature and I want you to switch on over to there and then you're going to press start so this button right here is going to allow you to press start and stop okay and get a simple time this is in seconds okay but we have some other features here we have reset which will clear it out and we also have this thing called lap one so I want us to figure out how we can use that feature today when we collect our data. So first we're going to reset and then we're going to click start and then now we're going to come over here and hit lap. We're just going to keep hitting it and you're going to hit it every time you see your car pass your set positions that you've set up in your lab today. And so basically what you've got here is for lap one, so the first time you hit lap, it took 1.56 seconds. And then the object kept moving and you hit 2.78 seconds when it hit the second spot. And then when you hit lap three, when it got to its third stop, it was 4.13 and so on. So these are the numbers you're gonna write down in your data table. These numbers just tell you how long it was between the laps. So that's the end of this short little video on how to use your timer and not timer, stopwatch in your clock app on your iPad.